Using work roster, assigning employees to shifts is quick and easy. When you hover over a shift, the shift details box appears above with various controls. On the assign line, click the employee link to open the pop-up assignment menu. From the assignment menu, click on an employee's name to immediately assign them to that shift. You can assign multiple employees to a shift. To remove an employee from a shift, hover your mouse over the assignment and then click the remove link that appears. The employee is immediately removed from the shift. Next to each employee in the assignment menu is the number of shift hours they have already been assigned for that week. This can help managers to allocate new shift assignments more fairly, or within regulation limits. If your workforce uses the availability feature, then the assignment menu also shows the registered availability of connected users in colored squares next to their names. This information can help the manager decide which employees to assign. A green box indicates the employee has said they are available. A red box indicates they have set their availability to busy or unavailable. A grey box indicates they have not yet set their availability. Employee records that aren't yet connected with a user account do not show any color box, because that employee cannot log in to set their availability. Another way to view employee availability is using availability rows. Open the view options menu. And then set the availability row option. There are six different settings to choose from for the availability row. The hide availability row option hides the availability on the screen. With the availability row hidden, employee availability can still be seen on shift assignments and on the shift assignment menu. The Just My Availability option shows only the availability row for you, the current user. The Dynamic Availability Row option displays a single availability row, but one that dynamically updates and displays the availability of the employee currently being hovered over on the roster display. If you hover an employee name on a shift assignment, or in the shift assignment menu, or in the employees list, then their availability information will be displayed in the Dynamic Availability Row. The All with Availability option will display availability rows for each employee that has entered some availability information, either free or busy. Rows are not displayed for employees that have not entered any availability in order to save space on the screen. The All Users option will display an availability row for each user. Rows are not displayed for employees without a connected user in order to save space on the screen. The All Employees option will display an availability row for each employee. If you have many employees then this will result in many availability rows on the screen, so this option might not be practical for large workforces. Instead, using the availability squares shown on assignments and the assignment menu, or using the dynamic availability row option, would be more convenient and practical. If your workforce uses the shift agreement feature, and the workforce settings allow for pre-accept or pre-decline agreements, and your employees can see all shifts, then the assignment menu will show the pre-agreements made by connected employees. A tick or checkmark will be shown for employees that have pre-accepted the shift. A cross will be shown for employees that have pre-declined the shift. A question mark will show for employees that have not set any pre-acceptance for that particular shift. A dash will show for employees that have no connected user, because that employee cannot yet log in to set any pre-acceptance. The shift assignment menu includes a search box. Use this to locate an employee quickly. If you type in this box, the text will be used to match any part of your employee names. You can press return or enter to automatically assign the first listed match to the shift. Using search can be very helpful if you assign shifts from a workforce containing dozens or hundreds of employees. The shift assignment menu has a sort button. Click this button to change the listing order of your employees. Click the name of each sort field to make it the primary sort field.
Click the up or the down arrow next to each field to change the ordering for that field. For example, we could make the assignment menu sorted first by availability, then by hours assigned, then by agreement, and then by last name. Click the sort button again to hide the sorting controls. If your workforce has client records or resource records, then making a client assignment or a resource assignment to a shift works in a similar way. Click the assigned resource link to display the resource assignment menu and then click a resource to make the assignment. Click the assigned client link to display the client assignment menu and then click a client name to assign them. To quickly see only the shifts for a particular employee, click the filter funnel icon next to their name in the employee list. The screen is updated to show only the shifts for that employee. Click the clear filter button to return to the full roster view. You can also find the filter button at the bottom of the employee record. When viewing a filtered view of the roster, like this, then any new shifts created will automatically have the corresponding employee immediately assigned. This auto assignment in the filtered view also works when the view is filtered by a client record or resource record. When using work roster, instead of assigning shifts to employees, employees are assigned to shifts, which we consider is the more natural way to think about it. Thank you.